I lived in Yancey. In my village, at home, it is only the exceptional man who can even read a newspaper. Who ever sees a book at all? And much of what I have to say will seem strange to the people of my village. I work, I teach, and things will happen slowly and then swiftly. And at times, it will seem that nothing changes at all. And then the sudden dramatic events which make history leap into the future. And then quiet again. <coughs> Retrogression even. Guns. Murder. Revolution. And even I will have moments when I would wonder if the quiet was not better than all of the deaths and hatred. But I will look about my village at its ignorance, disease, and illiteracy. And I will not wonder long. Perhaps, perhaps I will be a great man. I mean, perhaps I should hold on to the substance of truth and always find my way with the right course. Or perhaps, for it, I shall be butchered in my bed one night by the servants of empire. Or perhaps. <laughs> I shall live to be a very old man, respected and esteemed in my new nation. Huh? Oh, perhaps I should hold up. This is what I'm trying to tell you, Alei. Perhaps the things I believe now for my country will be wrong and outmoded, and I will not understand and do terrible things to merely keep my power. Don't you see? There'll be young men and women, not British soldiers, but my own very black countryman, who will step out the shadows one evening and scrape by the little throat. Don't you see? They'll always be there and dance. They'll always be. And that's such a thing. My own death will be in advance. They who might kill me evil actually punish all that I was. Thank you. Wow. <laughs>